Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Science with me. In this video, we are going to talk about vitamin D. The vitamin D, which is also known as calciferol, is one of the four fat soluble vitamin, vitamin A, D, E, K. And we have discussed in our last lecture that a vitamin is a nutrient that we require in a very small amount and we cannot produce ourselves. But we need these vitamins for our normal growth and development. This vitamin D being a fat soluble vitamin which means it can be stored within our body because the cells of our body are surrounded by fatty layers and it allows for the movement of this vitamin into those cells easily and therefore easy to be stored. The metabolism of vitamin D is one of the important point in vitamin D lecture. Then we will discuss the function of vitamin D in our body and the disorders related to the deficiency of vitamin D. We get vitamin D from ultraviolet exposure sunlight. So this is going to be the first step in the synthesis of a precursor vitamin D to an active vitamin D. Our skin possesses a cholesterol. The epidermis of our skin possesses a cholesterol which is named as 7 dehydrocholesterol and our exposure to the sun triggers the conversion of this cholesterol into cholecalciferol. So the UV rays convert the 7 dehydrocholesterol of our epidermis into a molecule which is named as cholecalciferol. Now the cholecalciferol which is also named as vitamin D3 after floating into the bloodstream the cholecalciferol enters into our liver. When this cholecalciferol enters into the liver after floating into the bloodstream, it reacts with an enzyme within the liver and this enzyme is 25 hydroxylase. 25 hydroxylase means it gives a hydrogen to the 25th carbon of the calciferol. Now this cholecalciferol which is an inactive molecule converts into 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol which is also called calcifagiol. The 25 hydroxy cholecalciferol or calcifagiol travel to the kidney. Now within the kidney this molecule reacts with another enzyme and this enzyme is 1-alpha hydroxylase. After reacting with this enzyme, this molecule will convert into 125 hydroxy cholecalciferol, which is also named as calcitriol. Now, this is the active form of vitamin D. The function of this active form of vitamin D is it increases the calcium and phosphate absorption into the bloodstream. The major function of vitamin D is related to our bones. The active form of vitamin D which is calcitriol plays an essential role in maintaining and supporting adequate bone density. So whenever there are low level of calcium in our bloodstream, the parathyroid hormone stimulates and the stimulation of parathyroid hormone causes the production of calcitriol in the kidneys. And this calcitriol interacts with the vitamin D receptors in the intestinal cells and increase calcium absorption. Vitamin D also stimulate the reuptake of calcium from the kidneys, therefore reducing the excretion of calcium out of the body. Now we have cardiovascular function of vitamin D. The lower level of vitamin D associated with an increased risk of hypertension. So the adequate level of vitamin D reduces hypertension. Now the function of vitamin D in autoimmune system. The vitamin D regulate production of anti-inflammatory cytokines and inhibit proliferation of pro-inflammatory cells. So vitamin D plays a very important role in our immunity. Now the diabetes. Vitamin D has both direct and indirect effect on beta cells function, insulin sensitivity and systemic inflammation. Now in last we have the disorders. The deficiency of vitamin D causes 
arthritis, rickets, osteomalacia, and osteoporosis. We will discuss all these disorders in our next lecture. I hope you understand this lecture. Like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Science with me. Thank you.